Kev, when they showed up in WCW, did they meet with the approval of the locker room? What was the climate like for them to walk in and do their stuff? It was fine. But then again, fuck it. Me and Scott did whatever the fuck we wanted to do. It was <laughs> the thing is that like Scott was with the JWO before I was. He was the first like Scott went to the gathering before I did. Like Scott, Scott actually did. Remember that? I think it was like a Western movie you guys did or something. Scott, was, yeah, Scott. Me and Scott were like really close. You yeah, know what I mean, and I didn't know how to tell, approach that, or talk about it because. I know that when somebody is your brother, somebody else telling you that they're they were close to your brother, you get know what I'm saying? It hurt it insults me. For example, like if somebody I don't really know comes up to me and is, hey man, me and Shaggy, me and Joe, me and Shaggy are mad close, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, get the fuck out of my face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but Scott brought Scott gave you the stamp of approval so then that would it's and that was a fucking difficult stamp of approval to get there wasn't a lot of motherfuckers scott liked scott scott used to always say if i haven't found anything wrong with you i just haven't looked hard enough but scott Scott, no i'm just saying scott Scott loved you to death man He, he thought the world of you I went and saw the, the the movie The Wrestler at the theater with Scott when it when it came out, and that's like a a, a memory I really like. You know what I mean? Because it put us both in a funk. Because the movie was good. Yeah, I remember. And I got to share that. I remember that one gathering where Scott got a trailer and he brought Cody, and I think Scott stayed yeah. there for like three or four days. Oh, yeah, the whole time. Yeah, but yeah. I, mean, I got there, man, again. I, mean, I hate to use the apocalypse now, fucking, but I thought Scott had turned into Kurtz. <laughs> I, remember <laughs> that one time, I remember one time, it was, we were having a, what we call the Big Baller Christmas Party in Detroit, and we have JCW there as part of it. And Scott was there, and he wasn't wrestling or anything. Hey. He was just there emceeing with, with me and Joey Shaq. And fucking Joey was drinking mad hard. And Joey just all of a sudden out of nowhere kicked him in the stomach, shoot style, not shoot style, work style. And then fucking just suplexed him, you know what I'm saying? And this is a point in, in Scott's life where Scott was not taking bumps, you know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> That's why you got to keep Joey away from the ring right now. He did not know what the fuck was going on. You know what I mean? And none of us did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking, he took the suplex. We're like JWO. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Scott. That motherfucking Scott could wake up out of a coma and take a fucking flat back, though. He might not have wanted Man. to, but that motherfucker, he was operatively conditioned to fucking bump. He was, ever since then, he was always like, what the fuck was up with that, though? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I don't have any fucking idea, bro. I've told you a thousand times. I don't know what the fuck that was about. And apparently, neither did Joey. 